Hey there, welcome back to another adventure of Laszlo's Vintage BBG. This is going to be part two of the post-1955 deluxe barn door savior, I hope. Well, here we go. We're going to do a walk around this time, um, get her out. I'm going to show you a couple things that I picked up for. Not a whole bunch of updates, but a little bit, you know. I was able to make... This little brace in here just to hold the body up so it's a little bit closer to where it should go um, coming around this side not too much over here i was able to screw these in this is just temporary i just wanted to make sure this body is attached to the actual frame and frame rails of the bus so it doesn't separate gives it a little bit more strength you know once this gets to my friend's shop jason at busworks to do the welding it's going to be good but i don't want it falling apart on the way up there here's a little bit of the inside this was all done so i'm happy about this this rocker is in really bad shape so you can see how much moving this does and that's what i'm worrying about one of the things I did pick up for this week at Octo slash Pomona is a early front seat. It's probably not correct, but for this bus, it's going to be perfect, and that's good enough for me. Um, once again, this is a 23 window deluxe. Remember, this is not the right roof. This roof came with the bus. I already sold it, but what I like, it's cool. You can see all the window panels going through all the way across the back this side is completely missing i have feelers out meaning you know anybody who has some rusty old parts that i can add to this please let me know because i want to put it together so it'll be much better much stronger i mean but i got a lot of work ahead of me obviously i can only do so much but um let's take you to the backyard show you the rest of the bus here's a piece of it that is the back part that goes right behind the motor. Coming through here. Excuse the yard. It's a little bit messy this time. I got a lot of stuff out. There's some repair panels that came with the bus, which is sort of cool. I was happy to get those. But here's something fun. A little bored. Got some time. So I decided to put the back of the bus back together out here the rest of it in my backyard sort of shows you what once i get all these parts up on the bus what it'll look like which i thought was pretty funny first one is the third brake light dick lid next is the 15 or 23 window rear hatch i want to trade this one this one's super solid for original saline wax red and chestnut brown one even if it's a little bit beat up, I'll do a straight trade across. This one is sick, except for those four little holes, no rust. It's amazing. This was another little pickup. Got this from uh, another friend of mine, Ceiling Wax Red Gas Store. Why am I buying parts? I was always told if you find them and they match your bus, get them. The next section, here's the rag top. This is the original one that they cut actually out of the bus. Um, it came with it. So these are some of the parts the guy actually put rear, front, side to side. Coming down, this is your inner and outer rocker for the cargo side. This is the other cargo door that came with the bus that's original to the bus also that has to go back on. Coming around, got an extra dog leg. This was another cool pickup at Octo this past weekend. Got this from my buddy Alex. Thank you. Um, it's an early 55 56. And how I was told you can tell is see these indentions that are indented. That's for early bus right there. So, and as you can see, it looks like it went with the bus when I got it. Um, I think it's pretty bitching. I do need to find the cover. Um, these dog legs are actually going to come in handy. I'm going to use these pieces here that are cut and cut those out on both sides to help fix some of the sections um, here's the door as you can see this patina is like amazing i know that's a word everybody throws around they fake it whatever this is not fake this is sun-baked texas 
23 window deluxe bus. Here's the window frame for the same side. Gonna cruise around, show you the front of the bus. You can see original paint here, pretty cool. It's got a couple bullet holes in it too. The bottom actually isn't that bad. My plan is to slap it just back on. Coming around this side, here's the driver's door. It's got a nice little dent down there. I can push that out. Some more holes. Here's the other window frame. Some courtesy poop of my dog, Sophie. Very nice of her to do that. Coming around to the inside now. Check out the dash. Just beautiful to me. I love it. Yes, it's rusty. Yes, it's beat up, but the original paint underneath it. Also with this square here, that tells you it's a deluxe out of a 15 or a 23. Um, there's the steering column, original to the bus. Gonna send that out to get rebuilt. Um, tell me what you guys think, man. I'm gonna try to put this thing back together. Here's some funky green metal that came with it. Some of it I'm gonna use, most of it not. Um, another really cool item. It came with another front nose clip. I'm trying to decide on which one's better. This one has more holes in it. Looks cool, but it's going to cost money to take the other clip on to put this one on, which is in a worse condition. So I don't really know. To me, this might just be a great wall hanger. Um, one of the other things I was super happy about. This is all the ragtop parts right here. And the guy was actually pretty good about it. You know, he wrote three, two, one, um, ragtop assembly number five. This is a part of the roof to the bus. More parts of the bus. Here's the deluxe trim. These are um, the rear apron mounts. I think these are extra because mine does have those in there. Spring plates down at the bottom. So pretty cool, man. And then I got a couple parts just hidden in here. Nothing nothing too special but some other parts i'm gonna use most likely this is the tube for the heater don't know if i need one i'm definitely gonna use the front floor because those are expensive this is the panel that goes on the bulkhead on the bottom of the bulkhead but like i was saying if i can use those cutouts over there i can sell this piece to put more money back into the bus that way every couple hundred bucks helps it makes a difference you know so tell me what you guys think you know make some comments down there at the bottom like and subscribe also i'm at 94 subscribers let's see how many we can get after this video let's push it to 100 um anybody the first person that makes it to 100 and 101 i will send you a free laszlo's vintage bbg shirt or hat your choice once again i'm at i think 94 right now when this video was shot the first person to make to 100 and 101 your name you're gonna get a free shirt or a free hat your choice sent to you once again thank you for watching this video hope you like it this is laszlo's vintage bbg please like and please subscribe comment below have a beautiful day